I've used monitor arms for the past 15 years and personally tested a wide range of arms at different price points. This is my tier list for the best monitor arms available today. The Amazon Basics single spring monitor arm has to be one of the greatest hacks of all times, an arm that's made by Ergotron that is essentially an identical twin to their LX series with just a few small differences that sells for almost 50% less money. When you put this arm next to the LX series from Ergotron, honestly the only real differences are in the size of the base plate and clamp, plus the branding on each arm, otherwise these are identical twins. Now the only issue, it appears that Ergotron may have pulled this option from Amazon since it's now been unavailable for some time. If the Amazon Basics does come back, I'm not sure why you would even consider getting the standard LX from Ergotron, unless you wanted to just say it has Ergotron on the arm itself, otherwise you're just paying extra money for almost the exact same thing, A tier. Similar to the standard height LX, the Ergotron LX dual stacking arm is one of the better built arms available today. Now the biggest difference between the LX and LX stacking arm is how tall the post is and how many monitors can be attached. Because of the pole height, Ergotron has the option for one, two, three, or four monitor configurations. Now their recommendation is monitors up to 40 inches and weighing up to 22 pounds each. Now it's unlikely you'll be able to fit four 40 inch large screens on a monitor arm with a single post, but ultra wide monitors are a different story. The only issue with that is that the recommended weight capacity is on a sliding scale. Two monitors, the capacity is seven to 22 pounds each. For three, it drops down to seven to 14.6 pounds. And with four monitors, they recommend a max of seven to 11 pounds per each monitor. Now stacking two monitors isn't going to be for everyone either, but if you're looking for this type of solution, I've been impressed so far. The Ergotron LX has a nice durable finish on it and feels heavy duty. I really wish that they would just try harder on the cable management or lack thereof. For this price point, you'd expect more than just zip ties that hook onto the upper arm. A tier. The AVLT HD mount is in a bit of a precarious spot, costing almost twice as much as the alternative brands that are similar in quality. Now overall, I would say that this mount looked much better than the lower cost heavy duty options, but I'm not sure that offsets the cost difference. The weight capacity on the other hand could be a spot where some could see the benefits outweighing the cost increase. With a capacity of 50.7 pounds, the AVLT is perfect if you're trying to pair this with a TV for a monitor. It also comes standard with four mount options, 75 by 75 millimeters, 100 by 100, 200 by 100, and 200 by 200 millimeters. The other arms we've tested only come with that 75 or 100 by 100, which are more exclusively used with actual monitors versus televisions. Now this is also the only arm in the list that comes standard with two USB 3.0 extension cables and two auxiliary ports to connect to your PC. While this might be a nice feature for some to have, I'm not sure enough people would actually use it to justify the extra cost with adding them standard to the arm. While I wish that this had a quick release mount for the monitor, my assumption is that they have such a high weight rating, it really prevents them from doing so comfortably. Overall, this is a solid option for anyone needing a heavier weight capacity, B tier. The Ergotron lineup of monitor arms is solid. Unfortunately though, the HX has a couple shortcomings that may or may not matter to you depending on your expectations for a monitor arm at this price point. First of all though, this arm is an absolute beast. Compared to the human scale M10, it feels closer to industrial strength than built for an office. The fit and finish are well done throughout with a matte finish that has some light texture to it. Now the aluminum components are premium and part of the reason why this arm definitely costs what it does. It doesn't have an issue holding up our 49 inch ultra wide, but the spring on the head is so strong that it actually tips my 42 inch OLED up and can't be loosened enough for proper use. The head of the mount is quick release with two set screws that mount it permanently. Now this makes the setting this monitor on the arm much easier and this part of the arm is definitely overbuilt. I really wish that the pivot adjustment had a better range for larger monitors that aren't quite as heavy as that Samsung G9 Ultrawide. The cable management system is also a bit cheap made from Velcro ties that really feel incomplete for something at this price point, A tier. The Huano dual post stand is very similar to the most basic monitor arms that I've tested. The biggest difference though is that this particular arm uses a less permanent stand versus a clamp or grommet mount. Now this type of arm can be a good alternative if your desk prevents you from being able to use a C-clamp or grommet mount due to some type of obstruction or surface material like glass that you can't drill through efficiently. Now while this type of arm can be useful, I believe the amount of space it takes up on the desk surface is a deal killer for many setups. The biggest drawback with this particular arm though was how cheap the actual stand was. 
The listing advertises it as being heavy duty, but the stand is actually made from thin gauge steel that's been formed to provide some stability in its design. But the lack of weight for the base requires you to be extra conscious of where you're positioning your monitors as it has a tendency to want to tip over. Now, I definitely wouldn't recommend pairing this with any really nice monitors, and I would honestly look to a clamp or grommet mount alternative that's at least usable. F tier. The Huano single mount is a very popular entry level option that's commonly found on Amazon. Now typically it retails for about $33 up to the $49 price point and boasts more than 11,000 reviews with a 4.6 out of 5 star rating. The Huano single is designed to support monitors that are 17 inches up to 32 inches with a max weight up to 14.3 pounds. The arm itself is made from mostly steel and plastic with some aluminum components as well. There's also a lot of plastic being used within the head components, which is done purely to save on costs. Now overall, the build is about what you'd expect at this price point. One of my biggest concerns about these entry-level type monitor arms is how light duty the clamp and grommet mounts feel. This is definitely an area where costs are being cut too, from how the actual clamp mounts to the bracket, to the actual thickness of the steel and the quality of the portion of the clamp that mounts to your desk. Functionality wise, I haven't had any issues with this arm when staying within the manufacturer's specifications. Because they've kept that max capacity around the 14 pound mark, I wouldn't be too concerned about maxing it out over a long period of time. C tier. Imagine if you took the Huano single spring mount and doubled it. That's exactly what you get when purchasing the Huano dual monitor mount. The only real difference here though is that you get two of those lower quality clamp and grommet mount options with a slightly larger stand that actually rests on top of the desk surface. Functionality wise though, this arm performs almost exactly the same as the single arm with the only exception being that the arm isn't large enough to support two 30 inch monitors and the max dimensions here would be dual 27s. With over 23,000 reviews though and more than 10,000 units sold on Amazon in just the last month, this definitely ranks near the top if not the top for dual monitor arms sold on Amazon. C tier. The Human Scale M10 is the most expensive monitor arm in the list, but honestly, the only one that I'd feel comfortable giving a potential coveted S tier to. Now, if you're looking for beauty, it has that. If you're worried about build, you shouldn't be. I'm actually surprised that more aren't worried about a catastrophic failure to your ultra wide monitors when selecting some of the more questionable monitor arms on Amazon. The Human Scale M10 has no issues supporting our 49 inch ultra wide Samsung G9 monitor. Adjustments up and down are as easy as you really should expect with a massive massive monitor attached to an arm. We haven't had any issues with monitor pivot or tipping over long periods of time either, and I'd feel super comfortable recommending this to anyone who can actually afford it, S tier. The Monoprice HD Spring Arm is a solid option for those needing something beefier to support those ultra widescreen monitors. They currently recommend it to be used exclusively for monitors from 32 inches up to 49 inches that are ultra wides and weigh up to 39.6 pounds. Now this mount comes standard with a C-clamp and grommet mount option. They have a fairly thick steel used for the desk mount portion and reinforced with additional steel wedge. The base that rests on the desk surface is absolutely massive and built into the lower vertical portion of the arm. The model price is solidly built from a combination of steel and aluminum. Everything about this arm is heavier duty than all of the entry level products in the list. There shouldn't be much of a concern here that it will stand the test of time with a heavier monitor. Now, if you're looking for a heavy duty arm that comes with a ton of height adjustment range, I think the mono price definitely has a ton of it. So much so that at my six foot frame, I'm able to actually use my monitor both sitting and standing up without actually changing the height of the desk. Now, while the mono price arm feels heavy duty, it is a bit bulky for my taste. The bottom portion of the arm is so significant that it really stands out on a minimalist style desk surface. Now, even though the mounting portion of the arm is solid, both of the other options in the similar price range are going to feel a bit more sturdy. B tier. The North Bayou single mount is another very popular option from the entry level of monitor arms on Amazon. With over 17,000 reviews and an average score of 4.5 out of 5, it's definitely performed well on the Amazon platform for a long period of time. And with a retail price of $36 up to $49, a lot of that interest likely comes from it just being an affordable option for most people. From the mount down, it is identical to the Huano brand. So my concerns over how light duty this clamp would be is the same for the North Bayou. The arm works though, especially when you're conservative with the size of your monitors, fitting well within the 17 to 30 inch max size. Now the 19.8 max weight capacity is about 25% more than the Huano brand, but I would be concerned though if you do plan to max this out over a long period of time. 
The North Bayou features a cable management system that's a bit flimsy on the top, but like the arm, it just works. The monitor mount portion of the arm is also quite a bit beefier than the more basic arms we've tested. Now, if you're looking to add a monitor arm for cheap, this could be a good option, C tier. The RA Hover Series 2 single spring gas monitor arm is the most modular and expandable arm that I've tested. Now, the standard arm comes with a four inch tall post, but it's also available in 11 inch and 19 inch tall options as well. Should you decide to add more monitor arms to the system, you can easily attach them to the 11 or 19 inch post options. Now this arm is designed to work with most monitors up to 26 inches with a max weight of 19.8 pounds, but I personally actually use a 32 inch monitor widescreen that's under the max weight capacity with zero issues over the past few years. Now all RA Hover Series 2 arms do come with both a clamp and grommet mount option, and this makes the decision easier and future changes to your setup cost less as well. The grommet mount option is one of the few to include an actual pass-through hole in the base, making it easier to pass wires through the grommet hole instead of around the back of the desk edge. Now this sounds like it should be obvious, but most brands I've tested don't include this and actually make you do the running of the wires around the back side of the desk. The RA hover spring is made from steel, aluminum, and plastic, and the alternative basic option is actually made from mostly aluminum and steel. The fit and the finish of this particular arm is what you would expect from a higher tier arm. The monitor mount itself features a quick disconnect system that has zero restriction on how it clicks onto the next portion of the arm and into the back of the monitor. Now this arm also includes a built-in cable management system that's easy to use and holds wires in place well. A tier. The SHW Dual is another very basic monitor arm system designed to hold dual monitors. Now this was the cheapest feeling of all the options that were similar and the price of $24.87 feels about right. Now while their listing on Amazon talks about heavy duty C clamps, I wouldn't really categorize this as heavy duty anything. Now unfortunately, they didn't include the required hardware to clamp the arm to the post, so I wasn't able to actually use it longer term. Looking at this compared to similar options, I definitely recommend alternatives with a lot more reviews than the SHW Dual. F tier. My experience with the Subtech monitor has been fairly limited. However, the first time I used it, I almost lost an eye. Now, this was definitely my fault, and hopefully, many have learned from this mistake. The price point on this arm should probably tell you all you need to know with regards to the build quality, and it's built like one of the cheapest arms I've tested. Everything about it screams cheap, and when I bought it back in 2021, the retail price was just under 20 bucks. Now, while this arm worked, I'd have to say, for just a little bit more money, you can get into better products that are in the C tier and will work much better. Now, I wouldn't personally trust this arm to hold any monitor over a long period of time, F tier. The Vivo Premium HD Spring Arm is quite a bit nicer than the last Vivo Arm we ranked. It's also one of the least expensive options I've tested that's designed for heavier monitors, like the Samsung G9 Ultra Widescreen or TVs as a monitor. Now, typically, it will retail anywhere between $119 up to $139, and per the recommendation, it's best suited for monitors up to 49 inches wide with a max weight up to 33 pounds. Now the build quality on the Vivo here is much nicer than all of the other entry level products that I've tested, including the Vivo arms. Now it's mostly made from aluminum and steel throughout. This includes the head design that actually mounts the monitor to the arm. It features a quick connect system that's easily attached to your monitor and then to the arm system. Now the Vivo HD includes cable management that's very functional. I don't necessarily love that it's clear when the rest of the arm is black, but it works well. It also includes both a grommet and C-clamp mounting option, which is well designed and quite heavy duty. Now while I wouldn't say that the Vivo arm is the most beautiful I've tested, it is quite functional and heavy duty enough that I really would be more than comfortable leaving my expensive monitor attached to it. B tier. The Vivo single monitor arm is another very basic monitor arm system and it's designed to hold a single monitor that's 13 inches up to 32 inches and up to 22 pounds. Now the standard pole for the Vivo arm is 16 inches, but they do have a massive 39 inch tall option that I've not yet tested. But to be honest, I would be a bit concerned about mounting anything near the max weight on that long spindly post. The Vivo comes standard with a C-clamp mount and a grommet mount option, which is great for any future changes you may have mounting to your desk. The arm itself is made from mostly thin gauge steel, with the exception of the clamp which is made from a heavier duty steel than the arm, but not even close to the more expensive alternatives. It's clear that the Vivo arm serves a purpose and one of the most frequently purchased entry-level monitor arms on Amazon with nearly 17,000 reviews. Now, if you're looking for a cheap entry-level option, this could definitely be it. Long-term though, I'm not sure how well this will hold up if you're pushing the capacity limits, but for only $32, it definitely works. D tier. 
The Wally Dual Monitor Arm is one of the more basic arms that you can currently buy. Now these typically retail anywhere from about $25 to $32. It includes a standard C-clamp and grommet mount option. Per the recommendation, you can fit dual 27-inch monitors that weigh up to 22 pounds each. Now this system does include a removable VESA mounting adapter that allow you to attach your monitor before attaching it to the actual arm. These brackets though are fairly thin and it can be easily bent so I wouldn't necessarily bet on them to support those more expensive or heavier monitors. There is also some additional cable management included for both horizontal cables and vertical as well. The base itself though is cheap like the rest of the arm and the threaded plate for the clamp is somewhat thin with limited threads for the bolt to actually hold well for long periods and there is some concern it will loosen over time. Looking closer at the construction of the actual pivot points on the head and the arm and within each extension, quite a few cheaper plastic components are being used here versus metal, and this is just another way for them to save on cost. This arm is functional, and if you're the set and forget type on a tight budget, it could work. D tier. The Wally wall mount monitor system is almost identical to all the other entry level dual arms from Hawano and Mountup. The only difference here is being how it mounts to the wall versus your desk and the overall cost for the system. Now, per the recommendation, it can support two monitors up to 32 inches wide with a max weight capacity of 19.8 pounds each. Now, if you're looking for a solution that will not bounce or move around, the wall mount is definitely the best one available. No matter how sturdy your desk, it's really impossible to prevent the bounce in any monitor arm system as the vibrations from your typing will transfer through that desk into all different types of monitor mount systems. By eliminating this connection point to the desk, it creates a very stable experience. Now, like other arms in this price range, the Wally is made up of mostly steel and plastic with some aluminum in the wall mount and the lower arm. There is an integrated cable management in both the upper and lower portion of the arm as well with a quick connect system for mounting your monitor and it's quite easy to use, but the actual bracket itself feels a bit flimsy. And while this system isn't ranked super high, it's definitely better than the D and F tier options and will work well for those who just want that functionality. C tier.